The Maharsha maintained that despite the fact that the Pasuk clearly states that the name given by Leah to her firstborn son, Ruvain, reflected the fact that God had finally seen, had taken notice of her suffering, nevertheless, there was a need for a second interpretation for the name Ruvain because the Chumash text in linking Uvein to the Shoresh Resh Aleph Hey explains the Resh Aleph Vav component of the name Ruvein. It does not, however, provide an explanation for the final two letters, the Bet Nun. With Medrash as a collection of various options for the interpretation of the text, the Maharsha's explanation for an additional commentary by the Gemara, a Medrashic document, might be somewhat appropriate. In other words, responding to the difficulty of the text, that the name Ruvain can be understood on a two level. On one level, that God had seen Leah's affliction and suffering. On a second level, that embedded in the name Ruvain was a prophecy that was to play out sometime in the future. From the standpoint of the Pshuta Shel Mikra, however, the Rebbe maintains that there are two problems. One problem is a structural issue. The other is that from the standpoint of the Pshuta Shel Mikra, there was nothing jagged within the text that requires an explanation. The fact that the Pasuk does not address the Bet Nun component, as we shall explain in detail, is not an issue that needed to be addressed. Firstly, the structural problem. By opening up his commentary with the words Rabbeinu Pirshu, Rashi informs us that what follows is a Midrashic interpretation for the text. And that furthermore, this is the only way that the text can be understood. In most cases where there is a second option that is drawn from the Medrash, Rashi will generally present the Pshat option and then introduce a second option with, with a Rabotainu Pirshu. Alternatively, Rashi should have inserted the word Kipshuto, informing us that this would have been the first option and then moved on into the second option, introducing that option with the words Rabotainu Pirshu. At the very least, if as the Marsha maintains that the Rabbateinu Pirshu addresses the Bet Nun component of the name Ruuvein, then Rashi should have pointed us in that direction by opening up the commentary, alerting us to the fact that the Pasuk does not address the Bet Nun component of Ruuvein. The absence of any of these three options would suggest that Rashi disagrees with the Maharsha that the Medrashic explanation for the name Ruuvain as Ru'u Ma Ben Bani Leben Chami is not an alternative and additional interpretation, but the primary interpretation. Footnote 8 for warns us of a problem with this line of thinking, and that problem is based upon one of the rules that the Rebbe applies to Rashi's commentary, that very rarely, and unless there is a reason to do so, Rashi does not identify the difficulty to which he is responding. If that be the case, then one can not draw any conclusions from the fact that he should have but did not identify the textual anomaly. In that footnote, the Rebbe goes on to make a distinction between the situation regarding this Pasuk and the commentary is to majority of the Pasukim throughout the Chumash, in that here the commentary from the Rabbateinu Pirsho contradicts the reason provided by the text. And Rashi is not, as in most cases, clarifying information from the narrative, but rather forewarning a side issue. And therefore, that side issue should have been included within his commentary. In the words of the footnote, Amnam, Benidu didan, in this situation, Sharashi Mefaresh Hepecham Furash Behakatu, where Rashi is providing us with an explanation, a commentary that is completely contradictory to the information presented in the Chumash text, Hayatzarit Rashi Levair. The very least, Rashi should have provided us with some additional information. And therefore, in the absence of that information, we will conclude that the commentary of Rashi is not to forewarn and justify the additional Bet Nun component of the name Ruvain, but has a very different agenda.